Ugh, it's stories like this that just make your head spin. Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Entrepreneur. Welcome to my media channel. This is where we talk about, you know, physical media, streaming, and entertainment in general. We sometimes talk about games, and this is going to be an interesting story. We're going to talk about Activision today. Now, Activision is a bad company. They are toxic, unimaginative, terrible, broken, and not only that, their workplace culture sucks. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I don't like Activision games for the most part. I, I think Activision is probably one of the least creative game companies out there. Uh, and you know, I, but I don't. But all serious aside, let, like let's be serious for a second. Activision really did have a lot of problems. They were reporting on basically that their workplace was toxic, that they had a long history of abuse, particularly by the CEO Bobby Kotek. I believe I'm saying his name right. And it got to the point where big people like Phil Spencer at Microsoft said that they were going to have to reevaluate their working relationship with them. And it turns out they did reevaluate and they came to a very unexpected decision. And we want to talk about that. Before we do, though, please consider becoming a subscriber to the Afterpreneur Media channel. We talk about, again, streaming, physical media, entertainment, and, uh, yeah, occasionally we talk about games. So we would like to hit 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year. I don't think that's asking too much. Is that asking for too much? I don't know. Anyway, you tell me. So anyway, let's get back to Activision. So yeah, Activision, the reports on Activision's toxicity is well reported, and their employees are very open about it. Now, Activision has been attempting to clean the image. They have been firing uh, a bunch of game developers and management people who apparently were engaged in misconduct at the company. And, of course, that's a good thing, but one of the problems was always that Bobby Kotek is still the CEO. He did not step down, and the board basically backed him because even though Bobby Kotek is a terrible, terrible person, he made the company a lot of money. And when you make a lot of money, cancel culture basically can't touch you. And by the way, I, I should clarify, I don't consider this cancel culture. Cancel culture is, you know, using social media and the public to punish you for wrong think. Activision was engaged in crimes. They were engaged in crimes. So, personally, I think this is long overdue. But the most interesting thing was that Microsoft at one point... Uh, the head of Xbox, Phil Spencer, said, we're going to have to reevaluate how we deal with Activision. And they have decided to deal with them by purchasing them for $68.7 billion. And I, I've got thoughts on this. I, I've got big thoughts on this. So anyway, let's look at the basic uh, storyline. So Microsoft is acquiring gaming giant Activision Blizzard in a deal worth just shy of $69 billion which the Xbox owner says will allow it to gain access to hundreds of millions of gamers and position it as, quote, the world's third largest gaming company by revenue behind Tencent and Sony. In a press release, Microsoft put the total of this deal at $68.7 billion, adding, Activision's Blizzard is a leader in game development and interactive entertainment content publisher with legendary games including Call of Duty, Candy Crush, Warcraft, Diablo, Overwatch, and Hearthstone. Uh, side note, I don't play any of those games. You can see why I don't particularly care that much for Activision. This acquisition will accelerate the growth in Microsoft's gaming business across mobile, PC, console, and cloud, and will provide building blocks for the metaverse. So apparently they're doing this because they want to enter the metaverse. Because of course they do. Microsoft wrote in the release that in addition to the 25 million subscribers in its cross-platform Game Pass service, which offers a rotating array of titles to both Xbox and PC gamers, the deal will give it access to, quote, Activision Blizzard's nearly 400 million monthly active players in 190 countries and billion-dollar franchises. Microsoft added that when the deal goes through, it will have 30 internal game development studios. So, that's interesting. That is very in interesting. And here's the thing. Now that that has happened, the first thing people are questioning, of course, is what happens to CEO Bobby Kotek. Well, Bobby Kotek will continue to be the CEO through the transition. 
but reports is that he will be leaving the company after the deal closes. And this is not justice. This is not justice to people who work for Activision because Bobby Kotek is not getting fired per se. Bobby Kotek is cashing in his chips because he owns Activision. He, he bought it years ago. I think in the 90s he bought it. And he is probably the largest shareholder. I mean, he was basically untouchable. Like, board didn't get rid, rid of him. The shareholders didn't oust him. He's going to be selling his company. He's going to be lining his pocket. And then he will leave the company with probably a few billion dollars. And he can retire. He is going to go unpunished for anything. This I, I mean, this is not justice. Now, in some ways, it's good because he's getting away from the company. And he will no longer be in charge. And hopefully someone at Microsoft can manage this company better and get rid of the the uh, swamp. They can drain the swamp, if you will. Get rid of the toxicity in the swamp. But he, the guy who created the toxicity, the guy who you know, necessitated Swamp Thing coming in to save the day, if you will. He's going to get away with it, and he's going to pocket lots of money. Also, another thing about this is I, I wonder if this cannot be considered insider trading to a certain extent. Let me explain why I'm thinking about this, because Microsoft, and they're not the only company, Sony said that something similar along the lines of we're going to have to rethink our relationship with Activision. Now, the thing is, the reports of the um, abuse and uh, toxicity in the company, that was enough to make Activision stock go down. When Phil Spencer said what he said, it made the stock go down. And then Sony chimed in because, you know, they want to be the good guys. Actually, I don't remember who said it first, but, you know, let's just assume Sony said it last. And it caused the stock to go down. Activision stock took a beating because of the scandal. Now here's the question, was Microsoft in negotiations for the company before the scandal hit, or did they see the scandal hit, saw an opportunity there, and decide, you know what, before we make a move, let's hurt the stock a little bit more, let's make the company worth less money than it was before. I don't know, little fishy in my opinion, little fishy in my, my opinion, I, I do not like how this went down. And I don't think a lot of people are going to be happy with how this has gone down. Uh, basically, Microsoft is now skyrocketing to like the third largest developer in the world. They're taking valuable IP away from Nintendo and Sony. And they are buying a company which in a strange way they helped devalue just a few months ago. And then Activision CEO Bobby Kotek who should have been fired, who should have been published, not published, punished, I'm sorry, who should have had his shares taken away, who should have like faced any number of consequences, got to stay on with the company, got to sell the company, and now he's cashing out his chips. He is going to win big time when this is all said and done. And he doubly wins if the successor is someone he chooses. Now that probably will not be the case. Microsoft will probably promote someone from the Xbox division to run Activision Blizzard. Someone who is well liked. I don't know. It's not going to be Phil Spencer for the record. Phil Spencer is still the grand overlord in the Xbox ecosystem, but it will probably be someone people like. Uh, they might even promote from within Activision. They might find one of the people who are outspoken at Activision on the culture and the toxic work environment, and maybe the person who voiced concern and need for change, maybe they will be given the new CEO position of Activision. And hey, extra bonus points if it's a woman, because that would really solve a lot of problems. A woman would definitely not put up with some of the things that was going on, at least, you know, I don't believe they would. And they could clean up Activision. So it's kind of weird, this situation. I do understand a little bit on why it will be a good thing for some people. It will be a good thing because Bobby Kotick is getting out of there. And Microsoft, they're not known for having 
you know, inner workplace scandals. They take care of them. So I have no doubt Activision will be a much better place to work from this point on. But it's also very unsatisfying in the sense that Bobby Kotek is going to be pocketing at least a few hundred million dollars at the bare minimum. He might even pocket a few billion dollars before this is all said and done. He basically did not get his uh, comeuppance. He did not get, he did not suffer any consequences. And then of course to make it more shady is that Microsoft made it public that they were going to rethink how they did business with this company and they hurt the company publicly. They made the stock go down. They played a part in it anyway. And then they swooped in and they bought the place. And, you know, that just doesn't look good to the outside person. Like, did they really mean that they wanted significant change? Or did they just want to hurt the company enough to get them for a cheaper price? They clearly are not bothered by the current culture of the company enough to not buy them. So, you know, how much of a role did Microsoft play in basically them getting a discount on one of the biggest video game developers in the world. I don't know. Actually, that's probably for the FCC to decide, and I guess we'll see if they do decide anything as fishy about that. In the meantime, though, I guess I would like to ask you all the big question. Do you think this is fishy? What do you think of this deal? And do you think, do you think this was fair? Do you think this is a good way to more or less end the saga of what has become the Activision scandal? Like, Or do you think that... This was actually the complete wrong way, and you think there's just crazy shenanigans going on. I would love to know. Comment below. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. And as always, blame responsibly. Have a good one.